Today we're going to look at the new S100 Pilar Kim Thale model from Guild Guitars. Let's find out if this machine is really worth buying. Hey everybody, it's Matthew. Welcome back to the channel. Today, as I said, we're going to be looking at this new guitar right here that I did purchase myself. This is not an endorse endorsement or anything like that. I was not given this guitar for anything. Of course I wasn't. My channel's too small to get sponsors anyway, but thought I'd let you guys know. But without further ado, let's dive right into the specs of this Kim Thale Signature S100 model. So, just like the 70s S100s, you've got a full mahogany guitar body and neck. The fretboard is Indian Rose Wood, and that's all your wood on this guitar. Of course, we have two HB1 series humbuckers, which are based on the vintage ones of the same name. Then you have standard tunematic bridge, guild style stop tail piece at an angle, which in very far away from the bridge. So you have the space here, standard controls with a volume for each pickup and then a tone for each pickup, standard three way switch for bridge, both at once and neck. And then you have the phase switch, which only works when they're in the middle position with them both on, and that will uh, change the phase between the pickups so they will run out of phase with each other. You have, of course, on the headstock, Grover tuners here, which are pretty tight tuners here. You're not going to throw anything wildly out by turning these, which makes them quite stable tuners, so your guitar should stay in tune pretty well. Hey, popping in for a quick second to tell you guys to go down below and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so far. It really helps me out. It helps the channel grow, so I'd appreciate it if you go and do that. Thanks. And that's all the specs for this guy. This is, of course, $8.99 US dollars for this one. The much fancier, very limited USA custom version in white is now up to 10,000. They did start at seven, so I don't know what's going on with that. And then one last detail I forgot to mention for the signature model is it had, Kim's additions were the King Soundgarden King Animal style truss rod cover with the King Animal logo, as you can see. And on the back, the cover plate for the electronics has a logo from Bad Motor Finger. And of course it has Kim's printed signature on the back, which by that I mean the his signature was printed onto the back plates because obviously with these mass produced ones, he's not got to sign all these. That would be insane to do. And that's all the specs for this guy. But let's talk about how the thing feels. I mean, it feels pretty good to play. The neck is not very deep in the back, even though it can, it does look kind of wide up here. It's really not a big deal because it's not a super thick neck on the back here. Very nice D to C profile. I think it's listed as a C profile on the neck. And then I have some Ernie Ball strings on here. The one thing I do have to mention is the frets are, the ends are finished quite well on these. So that's pretty nice. But the one thing that's not quite so good is up here on the higher frets, they are not totally polished quite as much as they should be. So a brand new one might be a little, it might be a little scratchy on these frets when you bend them up, but it feels like it's worked itself out a little bit. So they're not very scratchy anymore since I've played it a little bit. And that is of course it for everything that's on this guitar, of course. But enough about the specs though, let's talk about the tone with some classic Soundgarden riffage. <laughs> So there's a little bit of incessant maze for you guys. 
but that's the bridge tone of course let's talk about some other tones let's go to the middle position hit them both with some power chords let's go to the neck and then out of phase Actually, I did it out of phase the first time through, so let's go back in phase. <laughs> but that out of phase tone is a lot more obvious when you're doing single note lines like this. So there's some stuff there, but what about some basic chord articulations? Let's hear what that's like at a little bit lower volume. And then we go middle position. Fingers being uncooperative. <laughs> And then out of position chord, uh, out of phase chords. You can actually get some really nice articulation with stuff like that. But of course, it's a guitar from Soundgarden's lead guitar player, so you got to know if it can do drop D or not. So let's tune her down and see what happens. <laughs> That might not be quite enough gain for Outshine, but you know, we can do the drop D thing anyway. It sounds pretty good. A little bit of spoony too there. So, all right, that's good for the uh, drop D tones. I don't want my camera battery to die before I get done with this. But yeah, you get the basic idea with those tones there. Let me quickly, let me pop up the high gain on the amp real quick for some quick solo leads. I did turn the volume on the pickup down, but this is gonna feed back a lot, I imagine. Go all the way, it'll be really loud for a sec. And there's some quick solo leads for you guys. Be very quaint. <laughs> okay, I think that's probably good for the video guys checking out this new Guild S100 Kim Thale edition. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe, of course, if you did. I'm saying that wrong. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you want. Of course, don't forget to click the bell to get a notification when a new video is out. And with that, I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a good one.